okay this class is going to be continuation of the security so in security we have already seen okay let's go back to security okay so we have covered um, so we are currently talking about role based access group so we have covered access group access role name creation and how we can assign the object to the role name and uh, what else so privilege we have seen so in the basic uh, the pending items are so or we can provide the privilege to the uh, i mean uh, in general how we can create privilege we have seen so in specific to that so each rule how we can assign the privilege that we are going to see and uh, access ban and access deny so these three topics are we are going to see now so first we will talk about the privilege so we already know how to create create and privilege so how to create privilege so i will i'll just go and take uh, the same access role name which i have used in the last class so this is my privilege name okay so this is my access role name so in that i can see i have two three three privileges i have created two privilege i have created for link um, work object i mean the instances of the uh, link class i have created and one is for email class so this is how in general we had privilege so how this will work so whenever a particular user is trying to log in if that user is having a role as booking it admin and uh, so in that role it will try to see here if we are trying to access any any of this class i mean the user who belongs to this id admin if he is trying to access any of this class instance then this check will happen for example for the link class we have uh, two privileges so this two privilege check will happen so i'll just open one privilege from here Test two okay so i'll open here so this privilege it will see what is the value i have provided so to see that we have to go to the object um so i'll just open for the link yeah for the two i have provided four so till production so for the privilege three till production he will be able to access the particular user which belongs to this role name will be able to access this uh, uh, link uh, work object the instance of instances of the link work object he will be able to access and for the test to prior to i have provided as four level level as four so till pre prod he will be able to access if he's going to prod he can't access so this is how privilege work so this we have seen anyway i'm just giving the I'm just uh, remembering that what we discussed. So now what I'm going to tell is like uh, this is in general how we had. Now specific to rules how we can have. For example, if I take some flow action or flow. Now I want this flow. I'll just take this customer approval flow. Process tab okay now i want this flow to be accessed only by the particular uh, uh okay a particular role only will be able to access for example so i have already created this uh, this is going to be fsg booking link so if I provide privilege three, then if any if user is uh, logging in and if that user is having access to this class with the privilege as three, and this privilege three is having the level uh, what is the level it is having? H two is having as four. So okay it's a three right so it's having us five so till 
rod he will be able to access if he is having this rod. So this is how we restrict with respect to rule. In the same way, even in the flow action, you can see in the security tab, you can provide the class, whatever class you want to restrict. And for the class, you can provide the privilege name. So based on this, we do the restriction based on uh, this privilege. Uh, this is like rule level uh, access control we are having. So likewise, we have for correspondence as well and the advanced the attachment category. So, so here and we can control using privilege. So this is how privilege work. Now we are going to see access when. So when we use access when, even access when is like privilege only. So whenever you are creating, for example, here I have this. Uh, access role right so usually what we do we usually provide for, uh, one to five level we provide so based on this levels we, we directly provide so if you provide a zero then we are not providing any access to that user so instead of providing this number we do can create the access venture like this mm, run report something like this you can create and here you can control so based on this when rule this access when for example i'm gonna check py access group as access group as a booking it admin you can write a number of condition and uh, Py access role as uh, users. If the condition is A or B, then he will be able to run the report. So what happens is like during runtime, so this will check uh, this uh, access venture will be validated. So if it is returning true, then that user will be able to run the report. This is how we configure the access when rule and um, so we see like a privilege access when so all are like depend on access role to object only so everything all these things like we will, we will be configuring in access role or access role to object only and uh, the next the pending one is like um, i'll just close everything So in today's the last topic is going to be access deny. So how we can create access deny and what is the purpose of it? So now I'm going to create an access deny for booking ID admin. So this class is going to be FSG booking. I'm going to use it for uh, address. So I'll just create and open. Here, it is exactly reverse to our access role to object. So this access deny rule will be on top of the access role to object. If you are providing access role to object on top of that, if you want to deny, we can use that. So this is going to be reverse. So usually what we do in access role to object, if you are providing us five, means we are giving all the access up to production. I mean, we are giving access to that user up to production, means the open instance access up to the production. But here what happens is like it's going to be a reverse. So if you provide five, means we are not giving access to the particular user till production. If it is zero, then we are, pro then we are providing the access, you see, do not deny access zero means we are not denying any access but the purpose is denying only right so this is going to be in this way so if i give five till production access will not be provided so if i provide four till pre prod access will not be provided so this is but in production we will be able to access so this is how we use the access uh, deny rules in the same way if you want to control using the when rule also you can create when rule and you can refer it here 
access control. So this is how we deny. And one more thing I want to talk about is organization security access manager. I'll just open here. Here you see based on the access group. Uh, I'll just open for author. You can see all the access we have provided for all the case types which comes under this access group. I, I do see we have like one, two, four, five, six, six access group, uh, six case types we have here. So for six case types, it is telling what is what access we have. You see, if it is showing as a, a green tick means full access and the yellow is conditional access means we, we do write some um, win tool to control the access access win and no access means we are not providing access at all to that particular uh, uh, roles so you you see here booking system admin 4 we have full access for all four case types for security administrator for the authors we are not providing any access even for the booking pega apis we are not providing any access for this role so this is a, if i want to modify something or change something you just expand this here you see open run report modify delete view history so all these actions based on the actions we are seeing right just double click on that if you want to change for anything like if you are having full access for open right if you want to update based on I mean, if you want to give it as a no access, you can just update it. If it is conditional, you want to update, you can create any pen rule and you can just, uh, based on that pen rule, the access will be, you see, the conditionally got updated. This is how we update uh, directly from here. This is overall application, whatever we have, it is listing here. So like that, you can see for, you see, all the process flows and all the flow actions we have so it doesn't have anything so it is not showing i'll just scroll down email yeah we don't have anything that is why it is not showing so this is how we update in the application level and the next you can see the tools tab Tools tab is like where we give access to tools like Tracer or Clipboard. If you want to update, you can just go here and you can update it. So you see author is an, uh, in, I mean, author is an administrator role, right? So that is why we do see like checkbox for, I mean, the green check for all the sysadmin for. If you go for uh, some other uh, access group, the sales you see mostly we we restricted all the tools here because mostly for end users or managers we won't be showing this uh, tools so even if you want to enable you can go here and you can enable it for the particular user you want to basic tracer option if you want to provide you can provide like this so this is how you provide access to tools so and next one is like privilege so here in case type or data type if you want to add any privilege you can add it here you just select the role if i want to add for admin id you just select the case type you want to add and they just click on here and what is the privilege you are going to add just select that privilege And what access you are going to be, whether it is a full access or no access or conditional access. If you want to provide conditional access, you can just select one pen rule, whatever pen rule which satisfy your condition, just do. So this is how we update. Yeah, we are done with our basic uh, security rules. So. Yeah, we'll meet in the next class.